Welcome. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to never get tennis elbow, and if you do have it, I'll show you how to prevent it from ever coming back. Now, I used to have tennis elbow, and as a competitive player, I had to figure out how to prevent this from ever happening again because it was horrible, and it's annoying and frustrating, and it really holds you back from enjoying tennis for the rest of your life. So, what you need to do is stop the main cause, okay? Instead of trying to treat the symptom, figure out what caused it in the first place. And I'm gonna explain what that is. The main thing that causes tennis elbow is using our arm instead of learning how to use the body. A lot of people swing with their smaller muscles on the three main shots, which is the forehand, the backhand, and the serve and people do it on the volleys as well, but the main culprit would be probably the forehand, the backhand, and the serve. And what happens is we get players who have been, you know, misinformed or trained incorrectly, and they are using their arm to hit the ball. It sounds counterintuitive that we actually don't wanna, you know, use the arm, right? We're holding the racket in our arm, but this is why you are getting injured. You're using your smaller muscles and when you're doing hundreds, thousands of repetitions over weeks and months, we get compounding interest, which is turning into debt, which is really just wear and tear on your small muscles that can't handle the stress that you're putting on them. I'll show you what I mean. On the forehand, a lot of people, they swing like this. They don't use their legs. They don't twist their hips and their chest. They don't get their body behind the ball and get lag. In modern tennis, this is how we swing, to get racket head speed and power, but also to prevent injury. That's the main reason that this concept needs to be adopted. So a modern forehand, real quick, instead of just swinging the arm, you pivot and unit turn with the whole body, right? And from the ready position, you don't want to be too up with the shoulders because then you'll be tight and robotic. People use the arm. You don't want to be too tucked in because now your racket face is going to open up. You want to be loose and relaxed and you should be able to shoot a basketball in this space. And from here, instead of pulling the arm and disconnecting it from our body, you turn with everything together and you just make a grip change, okay? And from here, we sit in a chair, okay? And we start the swing with the legs and the hips and the chest and our arm is lagging behind us very loose. There's no tension in my arm at all and I'm actually swinging from my shoulder and my pec, okay? So that's the forehand. You wanna stop using the arm. On the backhand, again, people do the same thing. They don't unit turn and on the backhand, we gotta get more than sideways to stay sideways and people just do this. Boom, using their arms all day instead of making a unit turn by pivoting and starting the swing with the body and being very loose in the arms. The serve is another main culprit where we get people literally just swinging with the arm, okay, which is very bad and it leads to injury. Not just tennis elbow, shoulder injury as well. What you wanna do is engage the lower body in your serve and throw your body through the shot before you hit the ball. Think about it like a pitcher. They don't go like this. They throw their body and their arm whips behind them loose. They actually get lag when they throw. That's why they're able to throw so fast without getting injured for a very long time at least. Obviously down the line we see wear and tear. But essentially this is the main idea we need to stop using our arm in order to prevent tennis elbow. I used to have tennis elbow and it wasn't until I started playing modern tennis and stopped using my smaller muscles that I prevented it from happening again and I haven't even gotten an injury since at all in terms of my arm, shoulder, elbow, nothing like this. Because essentially, you don't want to put stress on the tiny muscles when you could use your bigger ones instead because one, you'll get more power and two, you won't get tired and injured because these small muscles can only handle so much. 
you can only stress them so many times before they stop working for you and you get injured. And the most common one is tennis elbow. If you would like to learn more techniques, click the link in my description and take my free online course.